This is FCH's review of the Samsung U24E 590D, the first 4K enabled FreeSync monitor with a glorious 60Hz PLS panel, giving fantastic viewing angles with a decent 6ms response time, all for a very competitive price. The monitor looks modern and stunning, especially with this price point. It has a very modern stand, giving it a futuristic look but lacks tilt, pivot, swivel or any sort of height adjustment, although this is to be expected in this price range. However, it does have a VESA compatible mounting point if you wish to use your own stand. Overall though, I'm a big fan of this sleek design. The glossy bezel around the screen is a little off-putting at first, especially if you're coming from a monitor with a matte black bezel. But you do get used to it. If you game in complete darkness like I do, then this won't be an issue. However, if you think this monitor is perfect except for the glossy bezel, you could always mod it. The panel itself is beautiful, especially with 4K video. The only issue is finding it. Though in time there will be more content as Netflix 4K is to be released soon and most popular YouTubers are progressing there. 4K gaming is a wonderful experience once you've played 4K at a decent frame rate, with FreeSync of course, anything less feels archaic. The first game I started up was Shadow of Mordor. You would think the jump from this from uh, 1440p wouldn't be too noticeable, but it is. The other games I tested out were FIFA 15 and GTA 5. Regarding the free sync variable refresh range, there is no official value that I could find. I even called Samsung and several suppliers such as Scan UK and Overclockers UK. From what I have experienced, I would estimate somewhere between 40 and 60 FPS. Personally though, running a game at sub 40 FPS detracts from the visual quality, so I would tune, that, tune down the settings for a more reliable refresh rate within this estimated range. Be warned though, you'll need a beefy graphics card to run this monitor like its creators intended, such as AMD's new flagship Fury X. Click to subscribe if you want to see the unboxing video for that. At the back of the monitor, there is a DisplayPort 1.2, you'll be using this and only this if you want to utilise FreeSync. Two HDMI ports, an audio jack and a very small power cable in. The small power cable and brick is a very nice change to the standard inflexible kettle leads that come with the majority of other monitors. The joystick located on the back of the bottom right makes accessing the menu easy and efficient. I don't know many people that mess around with their menu settings other than to initially calibrate things, but if you do, it's simple to do so. If I had to pick something that irritated me, it would be that the blue LED in the bottom right shines rather brightly when the monitor is turned off. This is fine for now, but I can imagine this being annoying for those who sleep near their battle stations. However, writing this I quickly discovered in the Russian manual that this was changeable in the menu, which contains everything a monitor enthusiast would need, which is also not in Russian. In conclusion, the Samsung U24 E590D is the best gaming monitor bang for buck. Some improvements I would like to think of would that um, I would prefer the bezel to be thinner and matte black. However, these changes may increase the price, but would transform this monitor from great to excellent. Possibly having a 144Hz panel in the future, when hardware can actually support 4K at those kind of speeds, that would just completely um, make it a, a dream monitor. Overall though, I would say that this monitor is the best gaming monitor if you're not wanting to spend a ridiculous amount, but most importantly, if you have an AMD GPU. You could use an NVIDIA GPU with this monitor, but I feel the free sync potential would be wasted and you would be better off with a more expensive G-Sync monitor. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you found this helpful and leave any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more similar videos. We have an upcoming video on overclocking for noobs.